Hey guys, I'm back. I wanted to do another video. You know, I said when I first posted, I posted my first video, I said that I didn't care and I don't how many people see my videos. I'm not keeping track and I've been censored because of some of the things I've said and completely blackballed in some of my videos, but I'm telling the truth. And that's why if I was on here, you know, all celebration hey we're all going to heaven it's gonna be awesome i'd have a i'd have you know people flocking but that's not the truth and you know coming to the truth is very difficult especially if you've been raised in a certain way you know in a, in a certain church that you know it's just completely blind to what's going on not only in the world they don't teach the truth they don't talk about it they don't talk about the most important things that this world is going to die. It is dying right now. And that when it does, you go one of two places. You go to, you know, to be with the Lord or you go with the evil one. And there is no in between, no gray area. But I was given a couple visions. Um, and I'll tell you what I was shown. You don't want to be here when all these things happen. You just don't. Um, I pray that anyone that sees this, that has any doubt in their mind, that you would repent of your sins, go directly to the Father, and in Jesus' name, that you, that you accept Him into your heart, that you're saved, because He is the Word of God, the Word fulfilled, and... His walking in his footsteps is the narrow path. That includes the Ten Commandments, loving your neighbor as, as you do yourself, having being pure of heart. And the sooner you start repenting and asking for help from God, the sooner he is going to address every issue in your life. And that means being an open book and having being honest with God about your sin and what you need help with and just giving it to him no one's perfect i mean we are flawed and that's what makes us so beautiful is to see someone have a comeback story be redeemed and that's what this this these visions were about you have to understand that we are redeemable but a lot of the unclean spirits and the angels that fell including satan they are not redeemable and they hate that they hate us for that so they are misleading 80% of the population with doctrines of, of devils and demons because they don't want us to inherit God, inherit heaven, inherit our, our uh, the kingdom of God. They want to see us destroyed with them or end up wherever they, uh, they are so they can rule over us. They have to, that's, that is their main purpose. In my first vision and that I was given by the Holy Spirit, I saw... It was during the tribulation, I saw a woman sitting over her child, and she was starving, and the kid was starving, and because the kid was starving, she didn't want her child to suffer, so she picked up a rock and, and killed her own child, and this was in the tribulation, I, I can't remember, I don't know what seal, I didn't think it was relevant, I just know it, it happened, and let me explain, this was not an isolated incident, because this has happened in, in our current in our current culture, this happens. We just don't hear about it because, you know, the media doesn't want to tell people the truth. But this started happening on a mass scale that you cannot comprehend. That you can't just say, oh, that must have been in some third world country. No, it was in, in the United States. Okay, in the United States. And this was a, per a woman that I felt in this vision was affluent had power, had, you know, had money. And when she did the act, when she, sm golly, took her own child, killed her own child, she didn't have enough physical energy to kill herself. And so she withered away to nothing. And she was cursing God. I knew that the rapture had happened and this woman was left behind, but she had doubts her whole life because... 
She thought she could do it all because she had power. And she never turned her heart over to God. And she was cursing God during the tribulation. And, and God was, was sorrowful. He, I saw Jesus was, I mean, I felt like he was crying over this. There was nothing he could do because he had no authority over her to save her because she did not accept him into her heart and follow, the, follow his commandments of his father. So he had no authority over her. And I thought about a passage I read where Jesus went to into a city and the people had no faith. And he wondered at him like, this, he, he was just, he couldn't believe that the, the lack of faith. And he was only able to heal, heal a few people because of their lack of faith. Think about that. The second vision I saw, and I, all right, I'm already running a little longer than I wanted to. Guys, this, I don't know where this came from. Uh, I've heard some things before. I didn't believe them. But this next vision was when Apollyon, okay? And here's what I have studied. Apollyon. You know, it says in ancient Greek writings, he was the father of all the centaurs, which were half man, half horse, basically a human hybrid. And I believe that Apollyon, whoever this is, is king over all the hybrids on, on earth that are underground and being hidden from, that have been hidden by the spirit of God. But when God pulls his spirit off of this planet, these beasts are coming out. When that seal is opened and Apollyon uses beasts of the of the earth to kill one third of mankind this is what my vision showed me and so apollyon is over all of these chimeras and they are real i saw them in this vision the ones that i saw in this vision look like werewolves and man they were some people when they would would see them they froze in fear and then they just got cut into one swipe just and they were gone. They were dead. And these things were so powerful. And I was given in the vision some information I didn't understand. I had to kind of discern it. But the U.S. military knows about these things. And they're using these chimeras as weapons against their enemies, the, the U.S. government. They have put ships in these beasts, in these werewolf dog. Man, they are these chimeras. And there's more than one type of chimera that... The United States military and these mad scientists have have made. And what happened is they were given this knowledge by the fallen angels to create these bees because they were tricked. Our military has been lied to and so have our leaders because they put these chips in these monsters and they think that they can control them through this these chips. Okay, it's it's technology. But guess what? When an EMP goes off over America, it's over. These beasts are going to turn on the military. They're going to kill all the people that, you know, have them in these underground facilities. They're going to break out and wipe them out. And this is already written. We can't stop it. So you don't want to be here. But these beasts have a leader. I mean, this, I mean, I, these things were so powerful, guys, that a hundred soldiers with full clips and grenades and rocket launchers they were so fast you couldn't stop them you could not kill them and even got your ar-15 and your 12 gauge i'm sorry it's going to go right through them and they're going to rip through your home and it's over and i was shown the vision where they were like flipping cars over that were driving down the interstate and they just came out of the woods and bam and this happened in mass it was a planned attack and it, I don't know when it happens. I don't know if it happens when the EMP goes off or if it happens further down in the tribulation, but it's going to happen and you don't want to be here. And, you know, in this vision, I I had a dream where we were attacked and uh, a missile flew over a home I was in. It was massive. It was a big gray missile. It was very low to the ground and it had red writing on it, but it's in my channel. You can watch it. And I felt like this happens that these beasts go crazy and then the, the nukes are coming to not only stop these beasts because they can't control them anymore. They're just killing everybody. It's like 80% of whoever is in the country is killed. And there was a video done in Congress about these. You, I'll post it on my link if I can find it where Congress is talking about this. And I saw it in my vision. And like a lot of people were, were killed. They, were, they couldn't stop them. 
And when the, the, the military go out and try to save people and the EMTs um, or, you know, the, the medical, they were killed too. The paramedics were slaughtered when they went to go try to save people. And so were the National Guard and the military. I don't know if it was some a, like a metaphor or if it was real, but it felt real to me. So, oh man, I just don't understand. People don't believe. They're so disconnected right now. In their spirit, they're so disconnected. And it, I prayed for mercy. I said, Yahuwah, Most High God, Father of Yeshua and Yeshua, please have mercy. Because we are not prepared. We, we have been lied to about the nature of our world, about the truth. You know? And we are not ready for what is coming. All the ammo, and, and let me tell you something, I felt in my spirit the reason that they're not going to take away our guns is because they're, they're, they're hoping that we can fight these, whatever's coming, whether it is an invasion, they're going to use the civilians, you know, a lot of people are having invasion dreams right now, which maybe that is the metaphor of the beast, uh, uh, of these werewolves, I, I don't know, or whatever these things are, or that they will turn on us but the fact that they're not going to take away the guns of the people because they're going to need us to fight against say a Russian invasion or you know or whoever invades or even if this seal is open and these the beasts of, of you know when Apollyon attacks they want the people armed so that we can fight and so the leaders can go hide and we can do all the fighting and killing it's all planned, guys, and I don't know how to get this across correctly. I'm just praying. I'm praying in Jesus' name that he shows you the truth of what that what I am saying is true. It is That it is true. That is what I'm praying. And no amount of food or weapons or anything is going gonna, is gonna to help because it's already written. It's already part of the story in Jesus is when this happens there's going to be nothing he can do because it's written okay sin has completely leaked in and breached our entire world is is compromised by sin it always had it's a fallen world but it's to the point to where it's it, we're getting into the days of Noah repeating the days of Noah when the chimeras ruled the lands and man were creating all kinds of abominations and then they, they turned, they got out of control. And I felt like that is what's coming. Please get saved in Jesus' name today. Please start praying for, for righteousness. If you, if you have sins in your life, lay them out. Say, Father, I'm a sinner. I need your mercy. Lord God, please help me. I'm praying. I want to be raptured. I want to be taken up with you. I don't want to be a part of this world. I want to learn about your perfect law. I want to be righteous in your eyes and upright. Turn your heart towards God. But I felt like, oh man, I felt like this this was happening. It's such a in, in such a way that no one, everyone was caught off guard. I saw people coming out of the grocery store and getting tackled by these things and shredded. And I don't know. Maybe it was the invasion. It was a metaphor, but I felt like it. It was real. You know, I just feel this urgency. That I know that I feel this urgency. But get saved uh, in prayer and repentance in Jesus' name today. I love you guys. Bye.